welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of becoming her series okay today is episode three and last to do a little recap of our last episode um the topic of that episode was basically focusing on yourself and your career putting yourself first prioritizing yourself da, 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 everything about yourself becoming selfish da, 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 da. now here's the thing if you haven't watched that video please click over here okay I'm gonna link it over there or in the description box down below. The reason why um, I'm saying this is maybe you want to watch that video first because this is like the next step after um, last episode. So this episode's title focus, title focus, this episode's main focus. Yeah, it's still early in the morning. So <laughs> if I start to sound like I am on a record player is because it's still early in the morning. I haven't fully woken up, although I've been up for the last two hours. We're derailing, we're going off topic. So the topic for today is basically asking yourself what you need to change and defining your core values. Today we're gonna do a little like a two pointer instead of like just one plain pointer because I thought um, this two go hand in hand. In the journey of self discovery, in the journey of reinventing yourself, in the journey of becoming her, in the journey of being a better version of yourself, you need to do a couple of things. One, sit down by yourself. Again, it's a it's a self thing. Okay, no one can help you with it. And then you, okay, with your six, seven, ten senses. I'm not scientifically accurate, but you get the point ask yourself what you need to change because everybody has that thing about themselves that they want to change and do better okay we're not perfect nobody is perfect not even kate middleton even if she looks like the epitome of elegance she ain't completely perfect so everybody has something in them that they need to change so you need to ask yourself what are these things is it as you sleep too late and you want to start sleeping at a reasonable time is it sorry is it that you wake up too late and you want to like you know start waking up a little bit earlier is it that you eat very unhealthy and you want to start eating greens i don't know what it is that you want to change is it the fact um is do you want to change how you come across to people maybe you know all your life you know you've been serious like you know the people who are called unapproachable or the wrestling bitch face and everything do you want to change that and be more approachable with your facial expression and body language there's a lot of things that you know fall under that category but then again only you and you yourself knows what you really want to change okay i can tell you what to change because for me i know exactly what i want to change one i don't know if this ever going to change but i always have a lot of late nights um it's not like i'm watching series or anything i do watch part of it i'm watching movie or series and have stuff but i also try I don't know I don't know why but every single night before I go to bed I have to somehow work like either like last night I was busy scripting at 1 a.m. in the morning okay and I was supposed to go to bed because I have a 7 a.m. wake-up call but um I don't know I always try to squeeze in something either scripting or editing or you know just looking at my analytics there's something I always do at the end of the night which I don't think it's a good thing but I'm trying to change that but it's not really like you're not getting that but you see that's one thing I want to change like I want to be able to completely rest at the end of the day not um seconds before I go to bed I am busy scripting or editing it's tiring like when you go when you're like about to go to bed and then you're busy working you're not gonna give your time your brain um time to relax so for me that is like one of the things that i want to change okay when i'm talking about asking yourself the things you want to change it's not necessarily change like you know like you're doing this you want to do something different it's also incorporating new stuff it's also um finding what's missing that one little thing that is missing in your life that you want to add into maybe your routine or how you leave you know your career your relationship with people it's also adding something new here's the thing it doesn't have to be very big like people think that changes have to be very big no a little tiny change a little tiny new thing or that little tiny new way of how you do something can change the bigger picture so don't like change everything you know just go big or go home no this is not where you go big or go home this is where you like pay attention to all the little details this is why you pay basically this is where you pay attention period okay to the details not like you know do big irrational stuff it has to be very very realistic 
okay even if you're trying to change yourself or like you're trying to do things the right way or how you've always wanted to do one you have to do it in baby steps and two you have to be very realistic about it okay don't just decide you know what i'm gonna start waking up at 3 a.m in the morning in reality it doesn't really work with the schedule uh maybe you have to go to work at 10 and then you're up at 3 a.m you also need to like make it healthy like you need to make it work make it work you don't have to strain with this new change it has to come naturally yes there's difficulties like for example i'm trying to wake up earlier um i don't wake up at 2 a.m or 3 a.m in the morning no i wake up like at 7 um you know 7 6 45 around that period and for me yes i will strain not like strain because it's too much strain because i love to sleep okay so that's the kind of challenge i'm willing to give myself i am getting enough sleep not like i am not but um everyone wants that little morning extension so when you're doing these changes please 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 make sure they're very realistic and they flow kind of a little naturally and they work with who you are and they work with your um schedules and everything don't just steal from somebody else never steal from somebody else because this is your journey and your ways so after you have identified the things you want to change or add into your life and everything it's time for you to define your core values here's the tea i'm not even there okay like this is probably um a hard thing to do not like necessarily but you know it's a little it has its own kind of little difficulty okay but not like it's not impossible to attain i am getting there i'm getting there. i know i'm talking about it but um this journey we're taking together it's not like i'm there yet um we're going together we're learning together we're growing together so basically let's define values okay maybe i'm talking about core values and y'all don't even understand what i'm talking about so values are basically opinions and beliefs that each and every one of us has that makes them who they are and makes them live the way they are and most of these things are not even okay first of all they're not even the same like my values and your values are very different maybe for me i value time management okay and for you that's not even a thing maybe for me uh for you you value empathy okay and for me it doesn't even click in my head okay so basically this is a very personal thing you don't share the same values as your parents they might influence you towards some values but you have your own every individual has their own values and it comes naturally to them because of their personality and who they are as a person so now i'm gonna share with you guys i don't know what to call them five steps it's not five step program i'm not trying to recover from something maybe the best word is i'm gonna share with you guys five guidances into defining your core values yes i think that's the best way to put it i have five tiny little steps that you can take i have been trying like i have been like doing them okay and they are very helpful so i thought i would share with you in this video specifically because we're talking about it so step number one the first thing to do to define your core values is write down all your values not all the values no not the values your values there's a lot of value there's a lot of values in the world but you need to write down yours your values everything empathy self-control charity faith um time management um you know all that kind of stuff wait i have a list of them hold up family ambition loyalty stability spiritual spirituality all of those stuff write them down but for you not for me okay don't say just don't write empathy because i said empathy when i was doing this video no don't say stability because i could say stability no find yours find your values okay yours specifically okay write them down in a piece of paper in a book in your notebook just write them down just sit down you're like hmm i am i have self-control okay i'm gonna write that i have empathy okay i'm gonna write that I am always on time so I have good management, time management, okay, write that. That is basically, that's just step one, writing them down, okay? Step two, consider what people admire the most about you. You can even ask, okay, you can even ask around or you take, you know, you listen to how people, you know, how people talk about you. For example, if you're always on time, that's not me, but if you're always on time and you know a lot of people are like, oh my god, I like how she's always on time, or I like how he's never late, or you know, stuff like that. 
point that out you're like people like my time management if you're very loyal a loyal friend a loyal employee um, a loyal girlfriend boyfriend whatever and people have mentioned that before and they really like that fact about you write that down okay write that down and you will start or that note it you know you will just start to see like how people view you and everything and what um, values that you have that come out stronger than others if you're extremely confident and people tell you that right that it's your value a, a confident being confident is also a value so write it all down or that note them as this is the things that people have mentioned before so the things that people have admired so the things that people have noted that I do that I am that I have been all that kind of stuff okay um we're going to the third step consider your experiences basically this is what i mean to learn about your values think back to the worst and best moments of your life that is it you need to see where some beliefs or opinions come from for example i love bullies i'm gonna beat you the fuck down right now Okay, because I don't like bullies, but that's from my experience because I had a terrible experience in primary school. You see, you can relate to that because you never went through it, okay? Some people have, um, maybe they get empathy because their entire life they've never received it. Maybe they struggled all their life and they've never really had someone empathize with them. So they become more, like, they become, you know... They become who they never had so you it doesn't have to be like all the negatives also positive some people um you know get okay you need to get your values from somewhere they don't just randomly appear that's why there's some people who are just narcissistic rude mean it's not because they were born narcissistic or they were born rude no no one is born rude we're all born like a plain canvas life life create like the experience that you go through um the traumas the good times all that kind of stuff that's what start creating who you are you're not born with a personality you're just born knowing you don't even know how to blink or keep saliva in your mouth <laughs> so all this kind of stuff these values they have to come from somewhere okay mostly our parents because you know we grew up um they raise us from when we we're blank canvases so we get some from them but as you grow older you start releasing others and you start gaining more but they come because of the experiences in life like if you find a person most of these charitable people or people with like had like people who like think you know charity like Anything they get, they go through, it just goes direct. Just think of charity, organization, everything. You, If you look deeply into their life, in their past life, they really didn't have much. So now they know the pain of not having anything. They know the pain of not having food or anything. So now that they can afford and they have more than enough, they give it away to other people that, you know, because they understand. So that's what I'm talking about when I say um, consider your experiences. That's what builds us. What we go through in life that's what builders point number four or step number four categorize values into related groups so when you're um categorizing your values just put them in groups how you think how you how you know they relate to each other put them in the groups and name them um so that you don't like you know and then now you can like look at them from a bigger perspective not the tiny little details like time management and ambition no put them together in groups that um you can see them in a broader and bigger picture now the final step is choose your top core values ranking your values in order helps you to know what you value more like what are your core values list them okay what are your non-negotiables what are the things that you know you are a hundred percent maybe a loyalty is one of your biggest pluses is one of your biggest values put that put it at the top maybe ambition or self-drive is the first it's like very important to you it's very like deep rooted in your core put that first that's basically what I'm trying to say. It's pretty simple. It's not really simple, but you know yourself, okay? So if you know for sure, for sure, the charity 
is one of the biggest things that you do. Like you've been doing that since you understood life. Put that as your biggest core. Just list them from 1 to, I don't know, 50, depending on how many cores you have. Uh, not cores, how many values you have. Just list, list them. List them like that. Okay? Like, you know, loyalty goes first. Uh, maybe ambition, maybe self-drive, you know, you just list them, list them, list them, and then you're going to see your core values. And sometimes when you're doing this, it comes subconsciously. You're not even thinking about it because you've lived the life. You know it. It's in, it. It's in you. So you know it, okay? So I really hope that this episode was helpful and it did rhyme with the last one because I just realized maybe it don't but it really, it regardless if you're listening to me rant about it right now it means you've watched the whole video so thank you so much for getting till the end okay we're not even halfway done with this um series until like maybe episode four or five that's what it's gonna be in the middle because like I said it's going to seven episodes so I hope this episode specifically was meaningful and helpful to you because I have come to the end of it that is all basically had to say for this video um i scripted it down like i'm not even kidding i have it here hold on let me show you i scripted it because it had a lot of points that i do i didn't really want to miss so i really hope it helps and i really hope you enjoyed it basically if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below what more you want to see on my channel because i am done that is all i had for you today okay i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye bye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her